So in this video, we're going to go through the circular flows through markets, and this will be the model that we're looking at. So uh, this model illustrates how households and firms interact in the market economy. And we're going to start off with the households, and the households are people like you and me who specializes and chooses the quantities of uh, labor, land, capital, and entrepreneurship services to sell or rent to the firms, which are the factors or the big companies. So um, the firms will get to choose the quantities of factors of production to hire, and the red flows uh, this side the red flows on the left side goes through the factor markets and the factor of production and goods and services flow in this direction but in this side what really happens is the red flow represents the services that we provide to the firms so pretty much the factor markets we can view it as uh, as a market where uh, where people uh, as a market of skills pretty much so we the households so of people uh, the people who actually work for firms, we will provide all our skills and uh, all our skills and experiences and we will list them on this factor market and the firms will pretty much uh, interview or pick the people with the, the skills and experience that they need and they will interview them and hire the right people from the factor markets and that's how the kind of uh, ideology that you would want to know in this uh, left left side of the model, this left side of the model with the, with the red arrows. But uh, that's all of that. So let's go on. Households will get to choose the quantities of goods and services to buy, and the firms chooses the uh, good chooses the quantities to produce and this is represented by the red flows through the goods markets. So this is the right side of the model. So the firms decide on what kind of goods and services to produce. They will put them up in the goods service and then the household will actually get to choose what goods and services from the firms that produced it they will buy. And that's pretty much that. It's pretty similar to the factor markets and the ideology when we went through. So this factor markets is the household providing the services, the firms choose the services to, uh, to buy. And this part is the firms produce the services and the households choose the services or goods to buy. Now, household receives income and make expenditures on goods and services, and this is represented by the teal flow that we have here. So, so then the households will go through the goods markets, and then they will spend on the goods and services. And when they spend, the firm gets money, and from that money, they will pay their wages, pay their rent, pay the interest and profits that uh, the firm just generates to the households or to the common people like you and I, uh, among other things that the money goes to. And yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I want to talk about for the circular flows through markets. And I hope you really understand that. But there's one last thing that I want to go through, and that's coordinating decisions. Now, the way that markets coordinate is that markets coordinate individual decisions, so our decisions through price adjustments. So pretty much, you sometimes see like companies that actually, uh, well, when they can't sell their goods, they would do like a big discount or when the uh, when there's high demand for their goods, they can bump the price up. That's how they coordinate our individual decisions because we only have limited m amount of money and then we have so many wants. So that's how they coordinate what decisions we make. And here's an example. So let's say that demand is high for uh for an for a good like so let's say the iPhone or BlackBerry. So let's say at first it's a new iPhone version and it's a new BlackBerry version and the demand is high. So the stores uh they can sell more or they can raise the price or they can do both. So they can do both. But as time passes on, then pretty much let's say that a new BlackBerry or a new iPhone version has come out and the old version of the two products 
are like deprecated now so people get tired of the old version and then the demand for the old version goes down so, and if the stores still have stock left they pretty much sell less or they decrease the price of their goods or they can do both and that is how price is adjusted and uh, yeah I hope you've learned something about coordinating decisions and circular flows through markets uh, I don't think these two concepts will really be emphasized in your classes or exams because they weren't emphasized in my classes or exams, but I could be wrong on that fact. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let, again, like I said in the last video, I just lost all the notes for chapter 1 and 2 because notebook is really garbage for me to use right now and I really need a new program to that does all this writing in front of you guys and uh, if you know of a good program for a Mac then please leave it below on the comments it will really help me to make better quality videos but other than that yeah please rate comment subscribe I hope you enjoyed uh, this chapter and again this is the end of this chapter so uh, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again next time uh, bye